This video is brought to you by G2A.com. If you are interested in the build I used in this video, you can find that in the end of the video. If not, you can always find it earlier on patreon.com slash vids. So the new global event onslaught just started yesterday. So I thought I would uh, just give some quick tips on how to, to play it and how to get the masks really fast. So we can check the modifiers here. So yeah, the global event on slot, you can see the modifiers here. It's gonna be a it's gonna be all about reloading your gun to get certain status effects, bur burn, bleed, or gas. And you wanna make sure if you have savage and brutal one of those on, you wanna make sure you use the right status effect against yeah, the right NPCs, right? So if you if you look at your reload bar there to the left you can see that there's a bleed icon. And every time you reload that would swap and NPCs will have those icons on them as well. So you want to match that because if you don't, you're going to deal barely any damage at all. But if you match it, your damage will be really, really sick. And then on top of that, you have the brutal onslaught here. So when two or more group members kill vulnerable enemies within two seconds, each member can reload to gain a damage bonus for a single clip. And that clip, it will be a skull, where you can see the, the bleed effect right now. And that will work, basically when you get the damage buff, you can just ignore whatever resistance they have. You will do sick damage to everyone, right? So yeah, that's just quick on how that works. And here's a few tips here. I would go reload speed on, on the grip here. As a major, that one I would go. And make sure you go reload speed on the holster as well, if that's possible. That's what I did. I even played with a, a magazine with even more reload speed as a major, but I don't think you have to do that though. But yeah, basically make sure to get use of that reload speed. I did use striker. I mean, Lone Star could be nice, but my reload speed was so fast anyway. So I just used my normal PV striker build. So yeah, let's check, check out the masks here. So we have three masks as usual. We have Ember, which looks like this. We have Oni, that's how you say it. That one. And then we have a Smiler. It's pretty good with the scarf, huh? And yeah, that are the, the masks. This global event. And they're actually really easy to get. Then we have the Smiler. You just have to do Warren Gate, Police Academy, Broadway, Russian Consulate, and Stolen Signal. Doesn't actually say what tear and stuff you have to do it on. I did it on Wheelchair 5. So it's actually all the, the playlist ones, right? It's not too hard to... Yeah. I guess you could do them on normal. I would probably do them on hard challenging anyway. I did them on challenging. Please, I get Emmy on hard. I did Warren Gate Legendary just for the weekly anyway. Then Broadway on hard. Stolen Signal on Heroic as well, so you can get the exotic cash, right? So all of them are really, really simple, except Stolen Signal is a bit harder. Like, you, you need a decent group for that, at least, so they know what they're doing. If they know what they're doing, you can make that in 15 minutes. I think it took 60 minutes for us, so... And it's quite s simple, though. It's only the last the last mission that's a bit tricky if, if you don't have people that know what they're doing. So, yeah. And then we have one more mask that's even easier. And, oh shit, I need to go to the right one. And that's... Ember. Walter 5, hard difficulty or above. Kill 5 enemies in a row with the effect they are vulnerable to. It's really easy, so... So basically, just kill 5 fire, or 5 bleed, or 5 gas targets in a row. With the right status effects on your gun. Really, really simple. So, the only one you have to, to burn, bleed, and gas 200 enemies. 
and I'm pretty sure that you can only uh, give one status effect to, to one NPC. So don't sit and try to make multiple effects on the same NPC because I did try it quick and it didn't seem to work. So yeah, but to do that, you only have to be in World Tier 5. I guess it could be normal, hard. Like the difficulty doesn't matter. As long as you're on World Tier 5, that will do. So what I did to get that mask is I went to Clear Sky, put it on challenging, World Tier 5, and then just do the, the first part here. And I would just farm the wave here because as long as you don't plant the bombs, they will spawn infinity. So I would just farm the NPCs here for like 15-20 minutes. I would make sure that I do this accommodation the last. Like you want to do the other two accommodation first. Because you will get some progress on this one from the other two, obviously. So make sure to save this one for the last. So yeah, I guess that's it. I just wanted to make a, a really short, quick video here with like just a few little tips and like how to do it. So yeah, I would say this global event was super easy though to get the mask. But I thought, yeah, maybe you can save like a 30 minutes or on one hour or something here. So why not share it, you know? I think it took me around 1 hour 30 minutes and I was doing almost every mission by myself except Warren Gate. I did team up, with, I think we free manned that and Stolen Signal obviously we 4 manned and yeah I was streaming at the same time just chilling so, so nothing too try hardish with speedrun or something like that. So yeah definitely all free masks in 1 to 2 hours. So yeah I hope this video helped you guys and yeah. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.